Hi friends! Today I'll show you an easy way to assemble a plasma ball, such a thing called differently. Plasma ball, Tesla ball, magic ball, etc. In online stores, the price is 10 to 20 dollars. Our homemade ball will be more powerful than the industrial design. We will use cheap and easy to get materials. First, we need common incandescent lamp. In my case, it is 150 watt lamp, which I chose because of the size of the bulb. Next is the electrical junction box of any shape. All stuffing should fit there. It is cheap and can be purchased at any building materials store. Next is the electronic transformer. First I took 20, 30 watts, but the resulting effect is not satisfied me. Therefore I used the 100 watt device. Below the video there are links to online shops. For those who do not know that is electronic transformer, it is power supply unit for 20 volt office halogen lamps. Electronic transformer enables to supply plasma ball directly from the mains. If you want to use a low voltage power supply, in the end of the video will be such a scheme. Next we need cartridge for light bulbs. Insulated stranded copper wire 0.75 mm in diameter, about 60 cm long. Next is the flyback transformer from old TV. We need few film capacitors from 0.22 to 0.56 microfarads. Its value we must choose experimentally. Here is the complete scheme. Let's look how it's working. The electronic transformer input voltage has a frequency of mains 50 Hz or 60 Hz in different countries. The output is 20 volts, but the frequency is much higher than mains. The film capacitor is connected in series with the primary winding of the flyback transformer. Together they form a series resonant circuit. On the secondary winding of the flyback transformer we have high voltage, which supplied to the light bulb. Let's begin. On the free part of the cord down 15 turns of the wire. Next, you need to make two holes for connecting the cartridge to the cover of the junction box. Make markings and holes. Connecting to the cartridge insulated wires, it is desirable that it was a high voltage wire. By the way, can be attached only one wire. If you do as I do, then it is necessary to connect wires together. Drill two more holes for wires. Insert wires to holes and fix the cartridge to the cover. I took out electronic transformer cover, because it is not placed in the junction box. Transistors must set to the radiator and isolate with the thermal interface material. Now we collect the scheme. During testing I noticed arcing in flyback transformer, so filled bottom with epoxy. Also, it is desirable to isolate the primary winding, at least with a simple tape. First round for security must do for the additional 40 to 60 watt lamp, connected in series to one of the power lines. To achieve the best effect, it is necessary to choose the capacity of the capacitor. Here is the simple scheme of the same device, but with a low voltage power supply. It is built only with one transistor. The optimal supply voltage is 9-12 volts. It's done. Let's enjoy the spectacle. If you decide to play, you shouldn't dwell on the one point, but constantly move your finger. This is not a toy from the store. Here is a serious power and arc can easily melt the glass. Beauty demands victims. Fingers will smell with ozone a couple of hours after these games, of course, if not washed. If you want to get more colorful effects, I recommend using different types of lamps with other inert gases. Thanks for watching. If you like, don't forget thumbs up and share with friends.